This is the first tutorial in the Getting Started with Ultra Analysis Suite video series that shows you how to get the most from Ultra Analysis Suite software. This tutorial will show you the new UAS interface and describe the role of each of the four work panes. For those of you familiar with other ultrasound data management software, Ultra Analysis Suite will have a totally new look and feel. The significant changes include a more familiar Windows-style user workspace. Asset lists give way to a more versatile tree-structured database. UAS is available as a licensed software that can be trialed for 30 days. Powerful graphics and data analysis enhance the operation of both the SDT-170 and SDT-270 data collectors. Multiple alarms add control to field work, while multiple surveys created from one simple database structure provide convenience and control to your daily data collection routine. Four work panes give structure and control over your data. The top pane controls your database and surveys. The graph pane generates powerful graphics and analysis capabilities. The bottom pane gives you precise control over your collected data and helps you decide how future data will be handled. And the navigation pane allows users to move through large databases swiftly and efficiently. The top pane has three tabs. One for your database tree, one for your SDT-170 surveys, and one for your SDT-270 surveys. The graph pane is where you will generate graphics for analysis and reports. UAS generates time plots for static data, time waveform view for dynamic data, and spectral views for dynamic data. The navigation pane allows users to move through large databases swiftly and efficiently by clicking on text links and graphics. Clicking on the text link or pin takes you directly to the corresponding tree node, providing fast, efficient access to your data. Thanks for watching this tutorial, which overviewed the Ultra Analysis Suite interface and described each of the four workspaces. I recommend you watch the next video in this series, Getting Started with Databases.